welcome, welcome to Angels Don't Lie. I am so excited to be here tonight. I am joined by the incredible Michael, Michael Spirit 333, Michael Heavenly Earth Angel. Um, I just adore this man. We, we came into each other's lives uh, just a couple of years ago. So I'm just going to say hello, Michael, and let you tell our listeners who you are. And uh, I know you want to tell the story of how we met. So yeah, well, that's, I mean, first of all, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this and for everything. Mm. Um, It is such, uh, it is so amazing to me to be doing this with you right now and thinking about how I'm going to tell the story about how we met because it all started here Ooh, it's how did right? we meet right how here we, yeah, it's so true it all, i didn't even think about that yes. it all started here so anyway but anyway it's like where do i start so because angels I, don't lie because angels don't lie and they never have true. when she smiles at you she'll say angels don't lie So there you go. So, um, hi. So hello. So I'm Michael. My name is Michael Fitta. I'm in my little meditation area right now in Lowell, Massachusetts. My husband's downstairs. Our two cats are around here somewhere. And, um, you know, we live this happy little life out here in Lowell. So things were kind of like progressing along. Right. And I, um, I, in my, uh, in my normie job, uh, I'm a, a retail manager for a major cosmetics company and have been doing that for quite some time. Prior to that, though, I'd been reading tarot cards for like the longest time. And, um, you know, and always, always, always interested in pursuing a spiritual path. My own path, my own spiritual path, I like to say, is like, super crooked and if you've watched the wizard of, so it, it's super crooked and if you watch the wizard of oz like that you know going through the forest and meeting all of those crazy characters and then like the witch's haunted forest wait, like wait I who am i in, who am i in that in that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're you're like the scarecrow you're you're like the scarecrow for me oh. Because the Scarecrow is like the first one that Dorothy meets. Dorothy meets the Scarecrow first. And then the Scarecrow goes with her through all of that. So, you know, you, you met me, you know, you met me at this point where I had already been through like the dark haunted forest, come out of it. And um, in other words, what that, what that really means is that, um, my own dark night of the soul, right? Um, you know, took me to some uh, some very treacherous places from which I was able to come out and start on a journey of healing. And I think that's really where it all starts, right? It's like the journey of self-healing had begun and I was reclaiming pieces of myself, calling back pieces of myself. And the, you know, the most precious of those was knowing that I am here to, to do work for spirit, that I'm, I knew from a very early age that that was what I was here to do. I love that statement. Just, I want to hold that for just one yummy minute because like, I think when we are little, we have that cue in. And I think many of our listeners can, can really relate to this, like knowing that they're supposed to be doing some sort of um, healing, some sort of connecting with people work, but they don't know what it looks like. And then life sets in and, you know, there's a, a series of things that take you off of that path. And like you said, down that, you know, on that yellow brick road. That's so, so like, doesn't make any sense. And it just, it's very interesting. So I'd love for people to sit with that, like sit with your, yourself for a minute and just think like, you know, did I have that calling when I was little? Is it something that is still here? Have I taken the steps 
to get on that yellow brick road to lead me to, you know, that scarecrow and that ten man, like all that yumminess. Well, you know, like you, like you just said, Jeannie, like you, you get a set when you're a kid, like you know what it is, but you don't know how it's going to be or mm -hmm. how it's supposed to happen. And if, when I was little, if you had asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, which we all do that with kids, right? What do you want to be when, when you grow up? I remember telling people that I wanted to be a surgeon, mm -hmm. not a dot, not a doctor, but a surgeon, because I wanted to remove things from people that were harmful for them and put in things that were helpful for them. That's what I wanted to do. And that's what I do as and an energy worker. That's what I do. I think that's also so like, so telling, like one of who you are. And I think people can relate to this as well, because you can look at your life at that little self and think, oh my gosh, what is it that I'm doing that is kind of translates back into that child language? You know, I wanted to be a mother, Michael. I just wanted to be a mom. I wanted to have babies. And I did, I had four babies and then I did foster care. I had lots of babies. Um, but what do I do in my programs and in my trainings? And I nurture, I nurture people. I lean in and I love them and, you know, I deliver those messages and I guide. So in that, in that is a, my form of healing. And I think that's the interesting thing. We might look at what a surgeon might do and think it has to be so technical, but now you're seeing, you know, as you are just clearly shining as a healer, what that looks like for you, you know, and you're just believing and knowing it to be true because it is. So, Michael, how did you meet Jeannie? <laughs> Pretend I'm somebody so, else asking that question. So, as I said, I'm in this process of reclaiming pieces of myself, coming into myself, um, coming out of that haunted forest and knowing that, um, you know, feeling this tap on my shoulder, on the shoulder of my soul that's saying, Michael, are you ready to get back on the spiritual path now? See, because I had made attempts in that direction, but I wasn't ready. It wasn't the time I had to do. I had to go to the dark places that I went to learn the lessons that I learned. And I had to start my own healing process before I started just feeling that nudge. And at that time, which is we're going back to 2019, it was for me, angels, angels, angels coming at me everywhere. Angels in books, angels in pictures, angels in TV, angels in my dreams, like speaking to me. Um, and see, I was that kid that when you took me to church at like three, four or five years old, I was leaving in tears saying mm -hmm. they were speaking to me. They were speaking to me. I could feel them. I could see them. And so what was I told at, at that age? Be quiet. Don't cry in church. You're making that <laughs> right. up. You know, you you just get shamed out, or I just got sort of shamed out of that. I, I'm thinking some people are relating to that because I'm getting some yeses. Yeah. Right and it's not, you know, listen, you know, it's not my parents' fault. They were doing what they thought was right, which right. is like, you know, my kid's crying in church and saying that the angels are talking to him. What is going on? Is he okay? You know, I mean, they were afraid. They just wanted you to be the heck quiet. They just wanted oh, you to oh, shut up. Right, right. So, um, and I did, and I was right. for a long time. So at this time in 2019, it's getting to the point where I can't really ignore it. So what do we do? we pick up our phone and we Google and we start at that point. I was just listening to podcast and podcast and podcasts. So I started looking up podcasts about angels. And then I came across wow. several of them, but my favorite was angels don't lie by Jean street. So I'm listening to Jeannie streets podcast. And when I met you, I told you that I had already listened to every episode of Angels Don't Lie. It's not yes. a lie. I had listened to all of them. So Michael shows up 
to my angel healer training. It was a live, we haven't done live in two years because of COVID, but it was a live event at the angel co-op and I had not met him before he signed up and I thought this was great. I think you might've called into the show once. I don't even know if you did, but um, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so, and I was like, you know, excited to meet the people that I talked to online, but here you were and you were like, yeah, I listened to every episode and I just stood there and I was like, you did what? Yeah, I've downloaded them all. And I was so taken back that the three years, cause I started in 2016, three years of content you had listened to. And you gave me a confirmation, Michael. I don't even know if you know that. Well, and you, and you gave me the same. And you gave me the same because it was the way that um, it was the way that you work with and uh, with the angels and the way that they work through you. And also it was really your mediumship that mm -hmm. pulled me in because as I was listening, you know how when you're listening to someone giving readings to someone else and you're like, they're saying that to me, like mm -hmm. I'm getting, I'm getting guidance from that. That was happening to me all the time. And, um, you know, and I felt like I know if I call Jeannie's show that my grandmother's going to come through. I know that my grandmother Hilda is going to come right through. Because anytime I've, and my ear just started ringing when I said her name. Yes, I know. Yes. So I knew that was going to happen. And lo and behold, it did, of course. And she came through with all of this beautiful guidance and you at that time were talking about your angel healers one class and I was getting this nudge about it. And, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Am I ready? I'm not ready. Is it right? Is it, can I afford it? Is it, to, you know, can, it, can I do it time-wise? It's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. And I just kept getting this nudge about it. And I said, I know that if I get on Jeannie's show, my grandmother's going to come through and I know that she's going to say, you need to do this. I just knew it. And what do you think happened? That's exactly what happened. Yeah. You said, and your grandmother is saying that you need to do this training with me. And I'm like, I know, I know. So I did. I, I signed on to Angel Healers One with you. The next thing I want to ask you, Michael, is... You know, I know that when, you know, from my personal journey too, like when the angels start nudging and start pushing you to do things, more than one thing comes in front of you, right? So it's like the books, the movies, the classes, the people, and it can be very overwhelming. And then you have to discern like, which one of these is really meant for me? Because like, once you open the channel, like it all starts popping in and I know more than one thing came into you. So tell me a little bit about like what type of work you you were doing or maybe um evolved to do besides the angel healer training because i i know great. you are there but yeah great and 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 we want to and we want to talk a little bit about integrated energy therapy and introduce yes. that to people right because um, isn't that because where it came in well here's how it happens um and so it's so it's October, 2019, and I have a conversation with you. And I say, Jeannie, um, I think I really wanna do this, but I don't think I'm ready to be a healer. I've got like too much of my own healing to do. And you said to me, that's exactly why you'd be doing it. Angel Healer One would be for self-healing. And then when we get into Angel Healer Two, because at that time they were separate, then we would be, you're still gonna be learning some stuff about offering those gifts to other people, but it's really about your own healing first and foremost. Great. So, and then I started feeling like, okay, I'm going to go do this workshop with Jeannie. I feel like I need a, a session with someone to like, to help me get started before I even walk through the door. I, I felt like the image that kept coming to me, the image that kept coming to me was like, you know, like when you have um, like roasted a turkey and the pan is like caked with all of this, like baked on like grease and stuff. And to clean that pan, you, you can't just like throw it in a sink and throw some hot water and soap in there. And it's all going to rinse clean. It's baked on, stuck on mess. I felt like I had baked on, stuck on mess. 
right? I know. It, like you want to get clean. You want to clean your house yeah. before the cleaning ladies. You want to, you want to prepare. Yes. Yes. My yes. God, me, that is the perfect analogy. I wanted to clean. I wanted to start cleaning my house before you, the cleaning lady was going to come in and, you know, and I was a work. cleaning lady. I did have my own cleaning oh, business at one time, many hats that I wore. <laughs> so my husband, Scott had, um, he had studied some Reiki and he had studied integrated energy therapy. Mm. And he used it years ago, primarily for his own self-healing, didn't really do anything professionally with it. That's what it was about for him. So he would used it. And, um, and I, had, of course, been talking to him about my process with this whole thing. And he said, um, you know, you would probably really love an integrated energy therapy session. Um, and he knew the name of a practitioner. And so for those of you who aren't familiar with with IET for short, integrated energy therapy actually evolves out of Reiki, a gentleman by the name of Stephen Thayer in the 90s, a Reiki master, uh, was guided angelically to um, alter what he was doing with the Reiki and developed a whole system of um, angelic healing that and I'll tell you more about it, but it's really, it's really about healing the physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, and karmic body of imprints that are left from trauma, right? So it's about lifting imprints that we carry with us in the cellular memory of our body you know, from, from traumatic experiences or negative messages or anything, you know, anything that we can't deal with in life in the moment, we store it, we stuff it, we put it somewhere and we carry that around with us. So, so IET, integrated energy therapy is really dedicated to, um, with an angelic healing ray to lift those imprints, not only lift them, but to in their place, place a positive angelic opposite to the trauma. So your vibration just, whoo, it just like lightens up immediately. It's a very gentle and loving and beautiful, but powerful healing modality. And I knew about it because Scott had done it. So when he recommended that I get that, that I, that I get that session, I said, that's perfect. I'm going to get an IET session before I even mm -hmm. see Jeannie. And that's going to get like some of the gunk up, right? Well, in mid-October, I had my first IET session and I had the most profound experience, a beautiful, beautiful experience where the practitioner said, um, you're supposed to be doing this. And I said, yeah, I, yes, right? I, yeah, yes. Right. Yes. And that's yes. why I'm here because, you know, and it's all coming together. And then there's all this part of my mind that's like, but wait, you, you're doing IET, but you're going to see Jeannie and, and she's not doing IET. And how does it all fit together? Right. So, so I went with it. And so IET works with nine healing angels along with your own angels that, you, that work with you all the time. And one of them is Archangel Ariel, who's right here over my shoulder. Mm -hmm. When I went to Angel Healer One and I sat down with you and finally met you, and I think I started probably crying right away, um, uh, you gave us, each of us that were, were attending, a beautiful bag with stuff and workbooks and all this great stuff. And you gave each of us a card, and I still have it, with a beautiful affirmation that was channeled for each of us yep. and an archangel that was assigned to each of us. And the one that you gave me was Archangel Ariel. Of course. And you can't, you can't make, you literally can't make that up because that's how it works. That's how tapping into divine and channeling works and it's effortless and it's beautiful. And what, what I can't imagine like, when you first got that, what, what went through you? It, it, at that point, 
it was it was the beginnings of my um it was the beginnings of my willingness to stop doubting the process because that's a yeah that's a huge like I would imagine that would that would have just propelled it forward and been like I, this this right here how how would she write that name how would Archangel Ariel come through right and and how could I then continue to say oh how is this going to fit together and does it work and yeah. am I doing too much or maybe I should do this and I shouldn't do that I mean that shmigo right that shmigo voice that is constantly like in the background um you know as i and and those stories those synchronicities right i mean that was that's a beautiful example of the synchronicities that were happening to me again and again and again to let me know that like it's time for you michael it's time like you it's not just time for me it's time for all of us, mm-hmm. right? It's not, this isn't just about me. It's not just about you. It's about the world. For me, it started to, are you just willing to let go a little bit? And the Shmigo voice can continue to mutter in the background, but are you willing to let go a little bit, Michael, and, and just entertain the possibility that this is all going to fit together beautifully? Are you willing to do that? And my mm-hmm. answer was, Yes. Okay. Nicole is saying, amen. Yes. Yes. yes, Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's just, and Nicole knows, right. It's like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's just give it a shot. Um, What else can I tell you about? Well, what else you can tell me is, so we have had the honor to work with each other. You've been, um, you know, a key element in a lot of my programs. You actually spoke at one of my, um, I did a live event I had a, I had, um, an immersive experience. Right. And, and that's the one that you invited me to speak at, which I loved doing that so much. It was such a beautiful group of souls. And, um, I made so many great new friends there Mm -hmm. and, um, and it was, uh, it, it was an amazing experience to having been at angel healer one sitting in the room thinking, can, should I be doing this? Is this the right, am I doing it? Right. Am I to now be sitting up there with you doing it? Doing it because you were born for it. You were meant for that. I always like to say, like, when I see truth around someone, like it's undeniable for me and, and I stay with it and I will keep serving it to that person if the angels keep pushing me. Like, I just will. I'll let it go when they say, Aunt, no more. They like, you know, that person's not ready. But when they're ready, they'll have me put it in front of them many different ways. Um, because because what's the important role here? When, when, when someone steps forward to use their healing gifts uh, in no matter what manner, so IET, some of the angel healer stuff that you you've taken on to whatever that is, even if it was Reiki mediumship, whatever you're going to do with your personal experience, it's all about love. It's about serving God. It's about serving God and humanity. And when you are doing that at the level, like where you are now, it is, it is going to move and, and shift the vibration of our planet. So that's why it's so important. And when we align and lead into that, it's so groovy and we don't know where we're going to go, but it's only going to get better. That's what I truly, truly believe. I believe that too, Jeannie. And and what the angels continue to show me is that um, even if it's one heart, you know, and you said it earlier, like even if just one person hears this, my, my personal belief is that if you're listening to this right now, just like I was listening to Jeannie at, at that time where I was looking for a reason, looking for a way, you know, th- th- you're listening to this for that reason. It's for that reason. And um, it, even if you don't know it now, it's like whether it's now or whether it's later, it doesn't matter. If it's just one heart, the angels keep showing me one heart at a time is all it takes, even if we just help to bring about that awareness that serves the healing right. of one heart 
that one heart can then go on to serve the next. And that's all that it takes. That's all that it takes. The beauty of this platform is that we can reach so many hearts at once. Mm -hmm. So the potential of that is such a beautiful, endless. And I love even more than, I, I agree with you. It's like so amazing. But I, I, one of the other things that I just adore is that knowing that you're not going to, I cannot serve everyone. It's not my voice. My voice isn't meant for everyone. My course isn't meant for everyone, but I can bring other people that it might be your voice. It might be you, Michael. You might be the one that changes somebody's life tonight that they hear. And they're like, I have to hang out with that person. I got to find out more about him. So Michael, how can they find out, find out more about you? Where can they find you? Right here. <laughs> on Facebook, um, on the Facebook. My, so my business as a healer, as a reader, as a teacher, my spiritual business is Michael Spirit 333. And that is an outgrowth of all of the work that I've done with Jeannie, with my IET teacher, mm -hmm. with, um, with everything that's happened from then until now you know, here we are. And I'm on Facebook and Instagram as Michael Spirit 333. And that is, um, that is my spiritual business. I seek to um, contact you and to be contacted by you uh, to serve you, mm -hmm. to teach you, to, um, to, to do readings for you to do healings for you, to even just tell you more about what I do. Uh, even that, even just that exchange is healing for so many people. Um, so that's where you can reach me. I love your, you do um, card readings on Instagram. You put out card readings and you write it up. And every time that I find it, like, you know how you just, you don't look and you, you just go through your newsfeed. It comes up exactly the day that I need it. It always says what I like. Oh, it just reiterates things. I'm like, yes, yes. Thank you, Michael. And I'm always like dropping your hearts because I'm like, right when I needed that little message, there it is. I love that. And you know, I, I love that so much. And you know, that my work with, um, my work with the tarot and with Oracle cards is uh, probably unlike uh, quite a quite a bit of um, cardamancy that you might see out there, and and I I really am at the point where rarely do I have a client that I have to explain to them. Look, I'm not a fortune teller. <laughs> this isn't like I'm not going to predict anything um, because being where I am, being as clear as I am on my purpose, those those people who need what I can give them are drawn to me and what I can give them in a reading is real guidance for your spiritual development for your soul's development to help you to to live with more joy and to live with more purpose and to live with more awareness and from that point everything is possible right so uh, so I love that those card readings pop up for you in that way, because they're not linear. They're not right. ascribed to a particular day. Right. That guidance is out there and you're going to get it when you need it. And likewise, I always, I always say that, like, even in my group readings, even though you can't read everyone when I have a large audience, um, you know, larger than, than uh, 15, I'm not going to read everybody. You just physically it's just, you know, spirit doesn't want me to do it anymore. I could do it. I've done it in the past. I read 50 people and they're like, no need to do that. Stop it. <laughs> um, stay at this level of, of, of doing half the room, serve everyone because they're going to get the messages they need. Spirit will piggyback on each other. You'll get the message. It will make sense. It might not be your father that comes through or your grandmother, but it's going to sound so familiar because pieces of it, it's going to, it's going to connect to their soul. And I feel that way with your cards. Like you, even though you're not reading them directly for me, and I have had a personal card reading with him and I highly recommend, I also had an IET with Michael. I highly, highly recommend um, working with a God-based healer such as Michael, because Michael just will bring it to the table. He'll use everything that all the resources that he's learned, because that's how God uses us. He'll be like, they'll be 
bring this into the session, bring this into the session, bring, and he'll just use it. There's no confines. There's no, this is what I'm doing. End of story. It's like, no, it's wide open. It's like, I'm, I'm a healer. I'm divine energy. I'm working with source. So. And I love, and I love that. Uh, and you and I are very similar in that way. Cause you know, our angels will be like, you know, let get a singing bowl in here. Come on, let's do yeah. it. Let's get the singing bowl. No, this person um, needs some crystals. Like let's get some crystals in here. Sound healing, bring the smoke. Where's the sage? I mean, and I love that we get to do all of those things and yet it's not any of those things. It's, right. it's, it's really not. Um, when, we, when we do our mastery group and, and we're signing on and I have this, you know, it's just, uh, it's this master mastery group where we work with, you know, really honing in on, on um, tuning into their frequencies of whatever their gifts are. And so it's, it's massive class. So anyways, Michael will show up and he'll be using the sage and he'll be clearing, you know, from a distance, on, you know, cause we're virtual and everybody's like, Oh, I really needed that. Michael, thank you. And you know, all around the world. And it's awesome. It's like, everybody brings to the table exactly what we need in that, in that moment. Um, and you know, not every time it's the same, it's just beautiful. And to be in this place now where it's not about, is it right? Is it working? Is it true? Is it, 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 it's just going with it. To be in that place right now is such a beautiful gift that to be able to, um, to be able to guide one person to that in their I, life. I want to paint a picture too, if you don't mind. Like when I first met you, Michael, you aren't, you weren't the shiny penny that I see now. You aren't the, you know, this shiny soul that's glowing and has all this, you know, confidence. You were, you were a man who was very stuck and very lost and a little angry. I'll say a little, but I know you would probably feel like you were probably, you know, more, um, and not sure on, you know, that whole shame thing had you, had you stuck, you know, had you in a place of, um, that was so unfamiliar, but it became the habit. And to see you shed all those layers over time, you know, um, you know, we have we had distance between classes, and I didn't see you, but you know, we'd always check in. And then, then coming to see you, like after you did the IET, and uh, like literally just healing those layers, it's 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 an awe thing to, an awe inspiring thing to kind of witness. And I I've done that with you know, most of the people that have gone through the training to see like those layers and see where they come out. And it's not a race. So nobody comes, no. you know, I, I always felt like that too. Like in the beginning, when I started doing my own stuff and healing, like I wanted to be done. I wanted to be on the other side. I wanted to be, you know, where I thought I should be. And I just couldn't do it because I had to feel what I had to feel. I had to heal what I needed to heal. It takes time and it takes dedication to self and it keeps, and the surrendering and really i want to say congratulations to you for for leaning into yourself and 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 taking the time to nurture you because nobody else is going to be able to do it for you you have to do it for yourself well thank you Jeannie. and you know that you're my scarecrow so you you know you 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 really were there at the beginning of that latest chapter of my you know self healing journey and from there, um, you continue to walk through that journey with me. So you've so to hear you say that that you saw me two years ago and you see you see me today and you don't see the same person is to me a testament to the healing work and it's a testament to the integrated energy therapy because so much of my own healing from self and from others has been really around that. When we talk about storing in the cellular memory of our body, you know, <clears throat> the, the cellular memory areas of IET are very closely related to the energy centers that we all know as chakras or, um, you know, the energy centers of the body. And so like the energy center of the throat, for instance, you know, being able to speak our truths as, you know, as we believe them to be true. You know, in IET, this is the cellular memory of shame mm -hmm. and pride. 
So when we, when we store shame, it closes our throat, right? And when we lift shame and, and replace it with pride, not pride, like boastful pride, but spiritual pride in that I have a right to be here. I have a right to say what I'm about to say. I can say it. You know, I can take up the space and say it. That is so profoundly healing. So for me, so much of that shame and so much of that self-doubt, right? Which is like I, I, shielding that third eye. I don't know if I trust what I see. I, I can't really trust it. Like, no, lifting that, you know, clearing that cellular memory area and letting yourself see. Can you... Trust it. Can, I don't know if you can do this, um, and I'm going to put you on the spot, but since we're talking about throat, could you do, can you offer some healing for our viewers tonight and listeners around the throat using whatever you want? Absolutely. An opportunity to, to maybe lean into something that you've been holding that you might not even know that's there and allow yourself to receive and this is the key guys to receive love from another and it's unconditional. It's pure. It's holy. So I'm going to let Michael take over for a minute here. So, it's because the angels are really all around the throat. They're really all around the throat. And in, in doing healings for the collective, much like a reading for the collective, um, you know, like you said, you look at a card reading that I posted two weeks ago and it speaks to you today. Th someone might listen to this or watch this two weeks from now and need this healing right right at that moment, right? Yeah, or two what years, I said, two years from or now. Two years, yeah, yeah, whenever, you know, the spirit doesn't work that way, right? So um, likewise, you might uh, receive this transmitted healing tonight and it will be available to you days from now when you need it the most, you know? So, um, so please accept this beam of healing energy to you as a gift for you to use um, in, uh, for your highest good and for mm -hmm. your highest healing. So as, as I would start any, any healing session at all, I would call on the healing angels and our personal angels to please come and be present in this healing and to please work through us. Please guide, direct, surround and protect us. And please help us to receive this gift of healing energy. May it serve each and every one of us for our highest good and our highest healing. And all you have to do is just sit, take a deep breath in, and release. Once more, inhale. And release. Last one, inhale. Big, 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 big. Hold it for a moment. And release. I don't know about you, but my ears are ringing. Like my heart is jumping. <laughs> Do you feel that like the heart? Uh, yeah, yeah. um, immediately, like I feel 
such a release. Um, and it's funny because I was writing a piece today around anxiety and it brought up old stuff for me. Cause I was, you know, as you're writing, you're channeling and you go back through and like, I feel like it needed to come out. Like writing was one way and this was the next. So I really feel like you opened that up. Um, we had a thank you. Um, Nicole says my throat felt funny in the beginning and then my heart at the end, right? Like this, that little twiddle, it, you know, like, woo, um, got lots of love here. I feel a calmness. Jen says, I think this is your cousin, Jen Pella. Oh, Jen Fitta. Oh, no, no. This is somebody different then. Oh, okay. That's All probably, right. She feels oh. a calmness. Oh, okay. yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. So uh, common during, um, especially with integrated energy therapy that, um, during a session, whether it's a group session or an individual. Wait, Trisha says she's on fire. I just have oh, to say that. That's I love I that. Am, yes. I, honestly, I am too. I'm like amazing Whoa. tension relief, much needed. Thank you. Like this is great. Like you guys great. are receiving. Uh, well, listen. In addition to um, my work with people individually, um, at, as an IET practitioner, um, and also I, I. I can teach IET and teach you how mm. to do well, which, uh, which I love being able to do that. Um, it, in addition to that, it, what I was telling Jeannie earlier is that the angels are really laying it on me lately that like, we want to do this in groups online. It's mm -hmm. great that I get to work with people one-on-one -on -one, either in, you know, in person or online, and most of my work these days is online. I mean, it's just, I think COVID has taught us that that's just so easy to do. And energy is easily, as you can tell, transmitted online. But the angels are like, that's great that you're doing that and we want you to continue, but we want you to do monthly online healing groups and and do healings for the collective and mm. they're and they're giving me and Jeannie, you know how it is they're already telling me it's going to be 45 minutes <laughs> yep um, you got all the downloads it's be yep. 45 minutes and you're going to announce it next week the first session will be in august and you're going to do one a month and don't worry about it we're going to tell you how it's going to go and they've already they're already telling me how it's beautiful gonna go. So My, when Michael, talk, you, yeah. you have to come back in this into the text afterwards because so many people are responding and I just want you to go back in so you can read all these amazing comments and then even I respond. Will do that. I, yeah, will and I think do that. that'll be a great place. You can tell them like how to get into that group and um, put yes, it in those well, comment section. Oh, I'll put it in the comment section. Yes. Yeah. Cause, that, Cause I want to, I want to invite, um, uh, those of you <laughs> she's this. like wait this is hilarious i'm like john travolta in the movie angel <laughs> i am raw abrupt forward and so honest and good-hearted a service angel i love that i love that i you're you're you know your listeners are so beautiful and i've gotten to meet and fall in love with so many of them mm -hmm. in our work together so it's it's my it's my joy to um to invite everyone to experience um, as my gift to you mm -hmm. to experience one of these um, online healing sessions. <gasps> so That's I would, I've got the chills like right now, like literally love to They're offer, like, yes, they will be paid events, but I would love to offer each of you. So a session how, how will you know, how do you want them to contact you about that? Cause that's, that's a great, really beautiful great, great, offer, great, great. Michael. Okay. Oh, that, well, I, it's, it really feels like, um, it feels like why I'm here, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, this is why I'm here. Um, so how they would reach me is that if you're not already following me on my Insta or my Facebook page, Michael Spirit 333, all one word, then follow me. Once you follow me, um, let's say you send me a direct message in either place that says angels don't lie. Perfect. And then I, and then you will, um, you'll, you'll be subscribed to my content. And, um, by the end of this week, I will be announcing the first session in August. You'll be on my list and you'll get the zoom link. It will be done on zoom. Awesome. 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 And listen, I want to also tell our listeners, um, 
because Michael's in my mastery and I know my other uh, mastery people are, are in and out on, on our feed tonight, they are going to be joining me inside the Angels Don't Lie group. And that's right here on Facebook. I know a lot of you are in that group. So be sure to be inside that group if you're not already in join, because I'm going to host them doing what they do, little tidbits um, in the coming in the coming weeks. Okay, so it's going to be lots of fun. I also have some extra love that I'm going to be pouring into into that Angels Don't Lie group very soon. Because just as Michael's angels are saying, here's your next move. They gave me my next move today. And I'm like, ooh, I'm liking this. That is so exciting. And I love, I would love, love, love to do some readings for, um, for folks in that group. And I want to tell everyone that my experience with Angel Healer Mastery Group, I mean, how many of us are there? We've got. Ten of us all together. When, um, when. The 10 of us get together and we offer you a reading, holy moly, a reading, a healing or whatever, where um, I'm so blessed to be working with and studying with so many gifted women. But when we all get together and work together, wow, it's humbling. It's truly, truly humbling. I'm trying to get... um trying to get a couple of guys in there. I reached out to a couple of guys that have been through the program to, you know, to come and join us because I also feel like men have so much to offer and maybe if they feel a little uncomfortable, but it would, it's a, such a safe place. Um, so held and so nurturing. So I'm hoping that we can bring that in. So I also, when I, when I need people to come into our mastery group to do the practical experiences, I ask people that are in my angels don't lie group. So that's, part of the benefit of being in that group, you get to come in and have those complimentary sessions with these amazing healers who are upping their game in their field. They're taking it to the next level. And it is, it is really amazing. And, you know, I mean, Jeannie, you said this, you don't have to be called to be a healer, Mm -hmm. you know, right. You can be a healer and be um, be a waitress. I mean, you could be a healer and be anything. It's, it can be all just for you. It doesn't have to be that you're serving, uh, you know, the public, right? It could be for you and your family. And, you know, we have many people go through the, per, the, the, the angel healer training from all walks of life um, to show up to, to just align with God, to learn a God-based method, to learn that their gifts are not bad. And, and I, I grew up Catholic and this is like, you know, most people are like, this is bad. But I'm telling you, what God showed me, this is beautiful. And this is the gift of the spirit, right? He's given gifts. And if we use them in the right way for the greater good, it is it is meant to be. And it's really just going to be expansive. It's going to heal our planet. So, yes, it is a mind blowing experience. And, you know, mm-hmm. um, God, uh, God, God's angels the, they're agents of grace, right? Mm-hmm. So as we work with angels, they are the bridge between God and us. They make, yes. they make God's grace um, immediately available to us in right. a way that we can easily relate to, you know, and joyfully relate to that. That's really what it's about. Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you, Michael, for sharing the healing, for sharing your story. It was, I'm so happy that we could um, (laughs) just, you know, have a great conversation and, and share our love of, you know, what we, what we know to be true. So guys go out, find Michael, stalk him, make sure you send him a private message saying angels don't lie. And he will respond to you with a link to join him for a complimentary healing session. I think that's really beautiful. Thank you, Michael. Yes. And if you can't make the August one, there'll be one in September and on and on. So, but um, I will definitely get you that link. All right, you guys, you know, I know what I know because angels don't lie. Have a really, really beautiful night, guys. God bless. When she smiles at